middle. We're not serenading him, Daniel. Well, if everyone finds their seats and sees Willis up here, I'd like to welcome you. <laughs> On behalf of the Dallas Park and Recreation Board, I am Kelbert Collins Bratton, the very new president. And on behalf of the Park Department and all of our incredible employees, we are so glad you are all here tonight to join us in celebrating our beloved director, Willis Cecil Winters. If you are a member of the current or former Park Board, please raise your hand. We have a lot of you here. Thank you. Dallas Park and Recreation staff, you all are staff, please raise your hands. Thank you all. I think Commissioner Garcia said if we have enough park board and council members here, I think we have a quorum. So, but luckily there is no voting because there is alcohol, so we will have no votes tonight. We'll have to wait for tomorrow and Thursday for that. So we are here celebrating a true Dallas hero. Willis Winters, and to wish him a wonderful retirement. I honestly cannot believe the day is here. I had hoped October 22nd would never come. We heard that all good things must come to an end, but my naivete was genuinely hoping that would come true. Tonight is about celebrating a man who has given his life to the city we all love, to making it more livable, more free, more equitable, more beautiful, and more accessible. In his 26 years in the department, the last six as director, Willis helped oversee the creation of not one, but two master plans, the remaking of municipal golf courses, the expansion of the trail systems, the partnership to create downtown parks and Clyde Warren Park, the opening of Money Graham Soccer Park, and many new aquatic centers, and we're just getting started. He raised the profile of the park department both within City Hall and outside, leading the charge for national accreditations, both for his department and for his staff. Like a rising tide, he lifted all boats, and we are unbelievably grateful for his vision, his patience, his service, and his friendship. First, I would like to thank my party planning partner in crime, Joan Wall. <laughs> Party wife for the past two months for making she made tonight possible along with Park Board Vice President Rob Stewart. Rob is over here. Thank you, Rob. My immediate predecessor and good friend Bobby Atahi. Right and all of the underwriters and sponsors collectively, we very much appreciate all of you. I must give a special thanks as well to our beautiful host here at the Arborina, Mary Brinegar, and her incredible team. There is Mary. Thank you so much for serving us. We have this lovely facility. Thank you, and we appreciate the discount. <laughs> After all, taxpayer dollars. So, Willis, where did he go? <laughs> ready to be uncomfortable because we're going to love on you a lot and we're going to pass the microphone. So this is the, the, our ode to Willis's love party. So first up, please welcome fellow preservation architect, Nancy McCoy.
is also a compassionate and generous person. His enthusiasm for learning is endearing. Despite some significant responsibilities on his shoulders, he still gets excited by the small things, like a tidbit of history on Fair Park or a specification written by Charles Dillman. <laughs> this, this almost childlike delight is fun to see and makes him the best person to convey new information to. He thus serves as a repository for knowledge on a wide variety of architectural topics keeps meticulous records of his research and has an extensive library. The point of all that is to share it with others, and he does that freely and often. Over the years, I've heard the refrain, just ask Willis, again and again, and I've used it myself. Upon learning of an area of expertise previously unknown to me, I found myself thinking, so Willis is also an expert on that? And then, after coming to know him a little better, of course, Willis is also an expert on that. How can one individual have so much passion for so many topics? It's astounding. And here are a few of the topics I'm aware of. Number one, Fair Park. Of course. What better way to protect and promote the subject of his architectural degree thesis than to become the architect responsible for its restoration 13 years or so later? Just 10 years after he started working with the Park Department and at Fair Park, Willis's work was recognized by the National Trust for Historic Preservation with the National Preservation Award in 2003. Uh, Willis, hero of uh, the part you put out tonight, my, my message to Willis is, you're my hero. He is. Uh, you're my hero. Great guy. Okay. Uh, as Nancy started out to mention and got willing to mention all Willis's accomplishments would take hours. I mean, I literally mean that. He's done so much in his career and lifetime. But I would like to mention to you, and bear with me, because his career achievements are nothing short of amazing. Willis graduated summa cum laude from the University of Texas, ranked number one in his class in the School of Architecture. <laughs>
four major downtown parks, with three of the work today, has added measurable value to our city, making it the envy of cities across the nation when once we were considered uh, a no-go to relocate Dallas because of our downtown being so sad. The sidewalks at night, it was like, it's like a 10,000 uh, population town in West Texas. Uh, with three of the work today, we are, we are blessed to have the residential population, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the population since we started downtown Park has grown from less than 1,000 to over 10,000 people in the last 12 years and it's still growing. So, it's a pretty amazing statistic, and I think that's, I can say this without any uh, lack of objectivity, it's all because of parks. So, <laughs> In 2013, Willis continued his amazing career as appointed by the Park and Recreation Board as the seventh director of the Dallas Park and Recreation Department, one of the best moves they've ever made. This appointment was following his father's footsteps, who served as the director in the Garland uh, Park Department prior to him uh, many years ago. During Willis's tenure, the department received more than 80 preservation and design awards initiate the first uh, park dedication ordinance, which we tried to do for three decades. Willis has authored ten books, probably more by now, but, and publications has garnered more than 30 city, state, and national awards and board positions, including being, I'm going to repeat what Nancy said because this is important, being bestowed a fellowship by the American Institute of Architects. And this is, it sounds like a big deal, it's a huge deal, folks. A distinguished honor that less than 4% of the registered architects in this country received. Willis was a, was a fellow and was awarded that. So, good luck. <laughs> Beyond this incredible career, which I could go on all night, as I mentioned, uh, on to a more personal level, I feel fortunate to have worked side by side with Willis for 20 years. I learned much from his architectural skills, his vision. I've been proud of his passion, his commitment integrity and loyalty to all the citizens of Dallas that he served, each and every one of you. So, another big hand for that. His wife, congratulations on a well-deserved retirement, and wish you peace, happiness, and good fortune in the next chapter of your life. God speak. Close the chapter. Different. going to be a little irreverent, and you all haven't had too much Anna here, because Willis has always wanted his face on the entire front of the t-shirt. <laughs> that's how you know you've made it in life. When you take up two by three feet. So, anything you'd like to about uh, your joy of working with Willis or befriending him or however he's touched your life. Thank you for your service. Thank you for everything that you've given to us. Joni loves you, and 
and uh, I know that she was about to say something too, but she she gets teared up. I don't get teared up. I just get teared, I just get teared in song. So I think I don't know. Steve, Steve, are you ready? Hello. Hi. Uh, I just want to say that my almost 20 years with the city of Dallas, most of them with the park department or working for Willis Winters, and I have been blessed and extremely grateful for his leadership, his friendship, uh, his guidance, his mentorship. Um, uh, I had an incredible career, and um, I blame my Willis. <laughs> City of Dallas um, it was challenging. Willis uh, gave me advice. He encouraged me. He uh, came to see me when I was sick. And, uh, everything he did for me was uh, I love and friendship. And, and I appreciate it, Willis. Good luck to you in return. I just have to say I apologize to everyone before you and everyone after you. This place will never be the same. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to apologize. We have Odin Slaughter up here. I came up here to say a few words. But those of you who have been to a park board meeting or have served a boat knows that he does not give up the opportunity to grab a mic. So I said, you can come up with me as long as we say we talk about Willis. <laughs> of course, by now, you know this is my brother from another month, right? <laughs> yeah, we've got a touring comedy show. If you've got a I'm going to tell my favorite Willis Winter story. I don't know if he'll ever even remember this, but uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Bobby Uptidy. I'm Bo Slaughter's brother. And uh, we, uh, I had just become the president of the park board, and Mike Rawlings appointed me, who's in San Antonio tonight, but he wishes his, his regards. And uh, I'll be honest, I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, but I met Willis, and we were in the, is Magic here? Magic is left, which is probably good. He won't like the story. Um, we were just told that we were about to have a bond election, and Magic, Willis, and I sat in a room, and Magic told us we were going to get $75 million of bond money. And I kind of just nodded and listened to him and everything, and I looked at Willis, and Willis's face was poker face, pretty, pretty solid, didn't say anything else. And, and then Magic left the room, and I said, Willis, don't we need more money than that? He said, oh, we need a lot more money. <laughs> so I said, okay, let's, let's figure this out. I've just been on the job for two weeks. Let's figure this out. So I called the mayor, and I said, hey, we need more money for parks. He said, yeah, everyone says they need more money. We have a police pension crisis you got to deal with. I said, no, you have to deal with that. I need more money for parks. <laughs> and so the first step was, well, let's figure out. We can maybe make the bond bigger. And they said, no, we got to figure out crisis, you can't make the bond bigger, this is what you got. And so weeks and weeks of meetings went by, I know, I know, but I gotta tell this story, because it's my favorite Willis Winters quote, so I gotta build it up. And uh, I said, you know what, if we can't grow the bond, then we gotta take money from other departments. And this is a big no-no for any director at the city, for him to come in and say, hey, streets, we're gonna come after your money, hey, Colonel. So I said, you know what, I'll be the bad guy, Willis, we're gonna go after everyone else's money. We can't grow the pie, we're going to take a bigger slice. And he kind of looked at me, and I don't think he, he didn't know me that well, and he, he thought, this guy's going to throw me under the bus, and he's going to lay off some me. But finally, I stood in front of that bond task force, and I did what I told him I would do, and he told me a story the next day. That night, I think Amy was there, and uh, Amy Monier as well, and Amy Meadows, and, and we left, gosh, like 10 p.m. in a terrible, closed backdoor meeting at City Hall, um, but they were all angry that we asked for their money. And Willis the next day called me and he said, I want to let you know, after the meeting, I got on the elevator with all the other directors of the departments who were asking for the money, and they said, they looked at me, and they said, are you guys really coming after our money? And Willis Winters looked me straight in the eye, and I had only known him as a very reserved, quiet person, and he looked at me and he said, I told them, you're damn right we are. <laughs> And from then, then on, I knew we knew we could trust each other. And my, to be honest, Willis, my weaknesses with regards to architecture, parks, and I was a user of the parks. I was not a true lover like I am today. And Willis Winters is the one who made me that lover of parks and 
my weaknesses were your strengths. So thank you for making me the best me I can be. And Jan, thank you for loaning us your husband. Thank you for your sacrifice to let him serve the city.